Question 27. Before I move on to question 27, just a little note about question 26. Is uh, Looking at the mark scheme, they seem to want you to pair up appropriate values that go with each other for x and y. So, for example, at the end, we found out that y is 0. And using that y equals 0, when we substituted it into this here, we got x as being 6. Therefore, 0 and 6 go with each other. So you can write it like this, x equals 6, comma y equals 0. So that's one answer. And then the other one is where you get the x from the other formula, where you put uh, minus 4.8 in as y, and you get out uh, minus 3.6. So that's a pair as well, minus 3.6 for x, and y equals minus 4.8. Now, back to question 27. A, B, C, D is a parallelogram. So here's a parallelogram. Um, a, C is 9, so A, C, 9 centimetres. D, C is 11 centimetres. Angle D, A, C is 100. Calculate the area of the parallelogram. Give your answer correct to three significant figures. Don't forget that. Right. Well, the parallelogram, parallelogram is obviously two equal uh, triangles. So if you could find the area of a triangle then all you'd have to do is double it and you would get the area of the parallelogram. By the way, at the end, make sure you remember to do that. I may still forget. So, we know that in these tests, on the calculator paper, there's always going to be an advanced trigonometry question, which is the trigonometry in that involves the cosine rule, the sine rule, and also finding the area of a triangle. Because you use a calculator to do that, generally. Uh, so this is one of those questions. And we want to be able to find the area of this triangle. Well, there's, there's a formula for area of a triangle. Remember, they're all at the front. It says here, in any triangle, A, B, C, it says here, the area of a triangle is half A, B, sine C. So if you look here, A and B are two sides, so it's half times this side times this side times the sine of the angle in between. Well, that would work on any of us. So it could be half times this side times this side times the angle in between. Okay, So going back to our question, we want to find the area, so you do half this side times this side times sine of the angle in between, but the problem is we don't know the angle in between. So then maybe you could do half this side times a different side times sine of the angle in between. So the problem here is that we haven't we either want this angle here or we want this side here. Okay? So what we need to do is we use another one of our trigonometry formulas to find something else. Well, if you look here, you've got an angle and you've got a side. If we had we've got another side here, we could get this angle here using the sine rule, because that works on opposites. Remember the sine rule at the front? It says here the sine rule, A over sine A, so an ang a side A divided by the sine of the angle opposite gives you the same answer as another side divided by the sine of the angle opposite that, B over sine B. Or this side divided by the sine of the angle opposite that. It also works the other way around, so sine of that angle divided by this side would be equal to the, the sine of this angle divided by that side, or the sine of this angle divided by that side. So what that's what we're going to do, we're going to use that rule. So we're going to find this angle here, and then when we find this angle here, we can find this angle here because we know that these add up to 180 degrees. So I'm going to say first, well, yeah, yeah, first find angle ADC using sine rule. Okay, so uh, we want to find an angle. So if you want to find an angle, put the angle part on top. That means do this, sine 100 over 11 is equal to sine, let's call this, let's just call it D. Let's call it D, yeah, over 9. Okay, 
So we want to work out what sine d is. So what we're going to do is multiply both sides by 9. So sine d is equal to 9 sine 100 over 11, which is uh, 9 sine 100 over 11, which is 0 0.8. 0.5575. Try and keep as accurate as you can. I'm, I'm not going to carry on writing all of it down, but you can. So that's the sine of the angle. So d equals sine to the minus 1 of this. Because that's the sine of the angle. We want the actual angle, so you do your inverse sine. So I'm on my calculator, I'm going to shift sin, so sin to the minus 1 and the button ANS, that automatically keeps our original answer in full, full accuracy. And the answer we get is 53.6829230. Okay, so I'm going to write that here, that is 53.7 degrees. Okay, so now I'm going to find this angle here. So, so I'm going to put 1, there, I might run out of space, I need to write smaller. Question two, find angle ACD, which is a lot easier because all we're going to do is we're going to do 180, take away 100 plus 53.7. And again, we're going to try and keep full accuracy, we're going to keep that number in the calculator. So it's 180, oops, 180. 80, take away, the other two added up, 100, plus ANS, because that will be the 53.7 in full, which equals 26.3170769 degrees. So I'm going to write that in here, uh, 26.3. Okay, so now you've got that, you can find the area of one triangle. Find area of a triangle which is again written at the front is half times the two sides around the angle 9 times 11 times sine of the angle itself 26.3 Okay, uh, so I'm going to write that in. So uh, one half times nine times eleven times sine twenty six point three. But again, that was the last answer in my calculator, so I'm going to use that and and that gives twenty one point nine four five two. 4919. You don't have to write all that down. You could just do a few decimal places. I was just going to have, I was, I'm only writing them down just in case they come off my screen. I have to clear it for whatever reason, but I haven't had to. So that's the area of a triangle centimeters squared. So four double area of triangle to get. the parallelogram. So 21.945 times by 2 and it's still in my calculator so I'm going to press times 2 which is 43.89049 and so on and it says give your answer to three significant figures oh sorry we missed that give your answer to three significant figures and that means one to three, so the third significant figure is the first decimal place, so that means you've got to round it to one decimal place. So 43.89, nine is big, so eight goes up by one, so it goes up to nine, so it's 43.9 centimeters squared. Right, I wasn't sure if I got cut off then, so let's just quickly go through it. It's the last question on the test paper. So just to recap then, we obviously you could rewind it, but I don't know what got cut off. We have a parallelogram, 
which is two, tri two equal triangles. So we want to find the area of a triangle. And then once we've done that, we're going to multiply it by two. Um, to find the area of a triangle, you can use the formula at the front of the book, which is half AB times sine C, which basically means half times two sides multiplied by the sine of the angle in between them. Now the problem with was that we didn't have that angle. So what we had to do is we found this angle using the sine rule. Because the sine rule works on opposites, we have an angle here opposite this side. We've got this side here, which means we could find this angle here. So we did that using the sine rule. That's all there. And then once we found that angle, 53.7, we took those two angles away from 180 to get the other one. So that's there. So now we've got the angle we need. So now we can find the area of a triangle by doing half times 9 times 11, which is the two sides around this angle, and then times by the sine of this angle, which is 21.9452419. And then because that's one of the triangles, but we want the entire thing, we just double it. So we took that number times it by 2. We got 43.89049. And then we rounded it to three significant figures, which is 43.9 centimetres squared. And that is the end of the test. So best of luck with the rest of your revision. And I hope you do well.